Shady. Uh oh. The guy with the good hair. Oh, I guess he could cut his hair now, huh? Yeah, both got good hair, huh? <laughs> Short hair now. Oh, he called me! <laughs> Is this the curve? Yo, 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 I was reading the Bible verse. What's the dude that cut his hair? You know I like yeah. the Bible verses. Samson! Yeah. Oh, man, he, <laughs> he Samson, he ain't win no championship yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's Samson. Yo, he I'm telling you, I don't know who girl is, but get rid of her. I, 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 don't, I don't know if this well, is picture. It's just the one they man. had up. How should he feel about the moves that the Chargers are making? You see that haircut? He looked pissed off. Mm. They, ain't, they ain't a cool haircut. That's a pissed off haircut. I mean, I would be mad, too. First, I don't want no championships. I don't want no divisions. I don't even get to the playoffs to get a win, right? With all these good players you got, and now you get rid of them? So what's he supposed to do now? If I can't win with the good guys, yeah. what am I going to do without the good guys? We're going to get some draft picks, some rookies? <laughs> I don't like it. I, I think Harbaugh's a really, really good coach, and I never doubt what he's doing. But I am looking at it like, ah, I'm squinting a little bit. I'm trying to think. Because they need offensive weapons. This game, I, I know we love talking about the defense, right? Mm -hmm. Defense is defense that. They need some offense. This, this ain't back in the day and all that, where they had the funny f face masks and the padded helmets. Yeah. You need some offense. It's the reason why you pay these quarterbacks all this money. I mean, for God's sakes, they gave Baker Mayfield $100 million because it's an offensive league. So, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, they got to get some more weapons in there for, for Herbert. I mean, why have a big-time quarterback with a big-time arm making all that money if you're not going to throw the ball? They brought in Greg Roman, who runs the ball extremely well. That's his DNA. But times were different, right? I, I look at the Ravens. Great defense. Run the ball extremely well. They haven't gone over that hump because they need to make some plays down the field. So I don't know. We're going to find out. I mean, I'm sure he's probably nervous. I would agree with that. But I don't know that Justin Herbert has uh, enough equity to Huh? How not? You got to make the most money on the team. Yeah, but he ain't Harbaugh. If you think that man can go up there and speak his mind. I mean, you can speak your mind, yeah. but you got stuff you need to work on, too. I hear you. So I hear wait, you wait, wait, wait. So you think he can't? But you need to get in the lab as well. Don't, don't, don't worry I, about what I'm doing. I, 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 that's yeah. my opinion. I don't think that he, he might be, be, have a gripe, but they had the six best odds to win the Super Bowl in 2022. They had Derwin James, Khalil Mack. He threw for 4,700 yards. Eckler had over 1,600 scrimmage yards. They had Mike Williams. They had Keenan Allen, Josh Palmer. 10-7 record and lost to the Jags in the first round. Mm -hmm. They had the 10th best odds last year. Keenan Allen, Khalil Mack, Mack had 17 sacks. Mm -hmm. He had th over three, th threw for over 3,000 yards. Eckler had over 1,000 scrimmage yards. 5-12 mm -hmm. record and Brandon Staley was fired after week 15. Hear your gripe. Let me handle this. Mm -hmm. I hear you, and he's probably nervous, and he probably should be. And if you're a fan, you're probably a little concerned as well. But they do have draft picks, and Harbaugh has clearly a vision. So I... I I don't like losing big-time players. It's, it doesn't make anyone feel comfortable. But they weren't winning with these big-time players, and Harbaugh is coming in, clearing up space, and trying to restructure the, the roster. But James, mm -hmm. should Herbert feel nervous? Should he be mad? How should he feel about these moves that the Chargers are making? No. Um, he shouldn't feel no type of way. What he should do is sit back, all right? Like you said, let me handle this. Because I haven't been to places you ain't never been. Two N a a NFC championships, a Super Bowl, won a national championship. I know exactly how I want to build my team. I know exactly how you are going to have success. You know why? Because every quarterback that I have coached has had success, right? And you are probably the best one that I've coached. So I got you, right? Do not worry about it. Sit back and relax. It kind of reminds me of my kids. My kids are extremely smart. They're coached really well. So my younger son play receiver, and he'll run back like, we need to do this. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? That's they didn't cover three. That, I got it. <laughs> you ain't did. I got it. I know what I'm supposed That's to funny, call. Though. You know what I'm saying? So sit back, let the coach do his job, and you go out there and play the game the way you know how to play the game. You'll be just fine. I'm with Shady. You had all these weapons, and what has it got you? Right? So let me do this, and let me try to get you to these playoffs to where you can have some success and win some games. But I've proven to you that I know exactly what I'm doing, and that's Coach Harbaugh. Let me continue to do that. This is the National Football League. He should not like it, but this is par for the course of doing business. This is what the league is. When the season ended, everybody knew the Chargers had to make moves. Right. So when they released Mike Williams, I don't think anybody thought that Keenan Allen would be gone their entire right. offensive skill players are gone. Austin Eckler's gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gerald Everett is gone. Mm -hmm. Mike Williams is gone. And now Keenan Allen is gone. So in essence, when you say starting fresh and starting new, this is exactly what they're doing. Yeah, and, and so empty. last year's first round pick, Quentin Johnson, 
he got to play better. Yes, he does. He, yeah. he, he must play better. So now we're going to either see Marvin Harrison, Malik Neighbors, or Roma Dunze. They, one of those three will be drafted oh, yeah, with the yeah, fifth yeah. pick. And, and so they now have a prime opportunity to play one of the best young quarterbacks in the league and put themselves on the map as a rookie. Mm -hmm. Because in essence, you're going to be the number one receiver because nobody on that team has shown yeah. that they are that. And, and so for Herbert, he, he probably shouldn't like it, but he should be excited because it's what James said. This is what Harbaugh do. He wins. He wins. And so everywhere you've been, you develop the team, you started from the basement, and you get to the penthouse. He didn't do it with the 49ers, but he got damn near close. Michigan was in the basement, and he took them to a national championship. So I'm a believer in Harbaugh. But he knows what he's I, doing. He's going to get it done. I just, I just push back on, like, I, and I get it, because I do believe in Harbaugh. Mm -hmm. don't, get, don't get it twisted. I do believe in Harbaugh. <laughs> but you, you don't have Kaepernick as your quarterback. You don't have Alex Smith as your You don't have them game managers. You don't have them guys. You got a real deal quarterback. Real deal. That teams would love to have. Yep. He's making 60, 56 million dollars for a reason. 56 million for a reason. That's why they're going to draft so, that receiver with the fifth pick. I, I, just, I, I, just, I, I, I love when they have a veteran in the room, right? Yeah. That's one thing I wish I would have had better. I, I mean, I had Brian Westbrook for just a year. But to have a veteran in the room to show you how to be a pro, to show you how to make the game easy for you, to simplify it, that's, that's what you love as a player. And, and given a quarterback that hasn't had a lot of success team-wise, individually, you know what it is. He balls out. But he don't have that. So it's like, give me some players that's like, all right, that's, that's proven, that I can trust. Because it's going to be, it's gonna come a time in the game, third and five, we need to have a win, right? Who am I go to? Is it a rookie we just drafted? Is it Quinn we just kind of got that's been up and down as a young guy? Like, I need a guy to have that. And I, I, even if they got rid of Mike Williams, if you would have kept Keenan Allen, that veteran lead, that y'all could go to him whenever I need him, you have that. Because now it's like, you look at this team, and it's like they're kind of rebuilding, but they're not rebuilding, right? And then as a quarterback, Bro, we drafted one of the best dudes we got. Build on that. You, you, they treat him like he's a hey, like he's a is, game manager. Yeah, but I, and they treat him, they treat him like he is Callan Kaepernick and Alex Smith. Yeah. And they're not close. But but just go off of who they brought in there, right? Let's just go let's off. Talk of, about let's it. just go off of Greg Roman. Greg Roman, right? I played with so him in Buffalo. I know Greg, him. Greg Roman's offense is not like I'm gonna spread you out and I need all these dudes. So I think scheme wise and system wise with what they do, we're going to be in certain formations. We're going to play action pass. You can find guys like that to do that. This is not going to be a four-wide, three-wide receiver offense, and we're going to let you drop back and throw it 35 times. We are going to ground and pound and run this football, play really good defense, and play action pass, and they have never had a passer like Justin Herbert. And he will make the dudes around him better, but if you're going off of Greg Roman, it's not like you need a bunch of big-time receivers around on that offense. It's never been like so that. So it don't make sense for me then. Okay, so you bring... So first of all, it looks like Harbaugh's doing the same thing he did in Michigan. We run the ball all day, right, and protect the quarterback. You can't do that in the no, National no, Football no, no. League. He you can't throw, do that. But... What do you think they did when he, when he was at Super Bowl with the Knights? No, what do you think they do? It's a, it's, a different, <laughs> it's a different game now. That's what I, so that's what I'm getting to, yeah. right? So uh, he's doing the same thing. You get your old coordinator back, run the ball all day, protect the protect the clock and protect the quarterback. Why are you paying a guy $56 million that's already in-house? He's already there. Can't get rid of him. He's already there. And you're going to have this type of offense with him. Why? And, yeah, and, plan. Gonna, and, little, and another some, thing is, some, some Joey some Taylor, in that division, you know who's in that division. Yeah. We all know. And they ain't going to look like that the same thing they did this year, offensive-wise. They're not going to no. be struggling. They you know, praying the defense. They're going to get better. So now, Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid going to put points up. And you ho you're hoping to run the ball all day and to keep them off the field and play good defense. But he has the best of both worlds because Justin man. Herbert can do it all. Hopefully it, it works yeah. out. He has we the can best I can't wait worlds. to see. Herbert, Herbert can do it all. I, you are going to see Herbert pass this football. But I don't think we... I think we're putting too much on it that he needs these big name or big time now, wide receivers. I do, we th I do think, it, to Shady's point, I do think it would be nice to have a veteran, though, because of he course. is still a young quarterback. You are going to have mostly other young receivers, because they're going to draft a receiver, likely. You know the, who that bet can be? Are. Mike Williams coming... He, he can still be signed, because coming off... Hang on back. <laughs> Dis, disrespect. Oh! Now that... I'm going to tell you this. In, in this day and age, <laughs> it, it, it may be disrespect. disrespect. I ain't going back. I ain't going back. <laughs> what, if you don't, what if you don't have another option? Oh, he, my God. You told me yesterday... He's coming he off a torn feelings. ACL. What if you don't have another option? Well, then what? I guarantee he has other options. He may, and, and I, he may not. And I will guarantee today, on, on the retirement day of Aaron Donald, that he that Mike Williams will not be back with the Chargers. <laughs> that will not happen. I will not say will not. Yeah, that, that was my vet because he's familiar. I respect it. But with... do you think it, do you think if if 
I'm kind of with Shady. If Mike, oh, it's not Mike Williams. You have to have a vet in there. You, so you then do you like Harbaugh's plan then? We don't know what his plan is. I would hope I he's going to. You can't have a team full of, you can't have a meeting room full of right. young guys. Right. You just can't do it. Like, they're going to do whatever they want to do. There's no leadership there. And as much as you think the coach, mm -hmm. we ain't listening to the coaches. We're not listening to the coach. Like, you're not. Is that, a, is that a wide receiver thing? Now, that's yeah. a universal thing. Are you young? Like, you these can't. coaches, in a, there's a handful of coaches that really get you better. Mm -hmm. They'll teach you football. Every coach will teach you foot. They don't get you better, Joy. You get better from the veterans on the mm -hmm. team because you respect them. You've seen them on TV. So when they tell you something, you, oh, that's what you was just telling me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right? It's just a different thing when you have a vet that you respect. They gonna have to get a vet in there because they not listening to that coach. I just think they have a guy at the quarterback spot that can make everybody around him better. I do. That, that's how I feel about Justin Herbert. And y'all could call me crazy, but I think he can make any and every last throw and put the ball wherever he wants to. We're not disputing that. So I don't necessarily think you need a super big-time player the way they are about to run offense. I don't. Well, they're I think gonna they expect still have their... a lot of success with Herbert throwing the ball. They're going to expect whoever they draft to be that big-time no player. You're picking a wide receiver top five in the draft. No you expect them it. to contribute right away. That... That part of it will be a big name. You are going to expect that player to contribute right away, whoever it is oh, they no. take, assuming that they take a wide receiver, which it looks like they're probably going to. We're talking about how do you supplement that, because the other wide receiver is a young guy as well. Justin Herbert is right. also a young player, mm -hmm. so it's just a lot of youth, and having somebody like that in the locker room, I think I got to agree and, with And real quick, helpful. if you think about all y'all wide receivers, y'all know this best, but all the really good young wide receivers that have, like, success early, there's a veteran in that room. And a really good quarterback. Yep. Think about it for a second, though, right? Jamar Chase. Veterans yeah. in the room. Yeah, Tyler Boyd. Okay, let's go to Justin Jefferson. Wide receiver in the room. I can go, I can do this for hours. Who did he have? Adam Thielen. One in there with him? Oh, yeah, yeah, Adam Thielen. Yeah, yeah, Adam Thielen. Yeah, 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 Adam Thielen. So I can, I can go down a list of like having young dudes in the room where you can like grow from and learn Bro, from. Bro, it helps. It helps. Y'all know it, that. It does. It, it helps, helps when it they helps help. You. Yeah. And then, and then uh, oh, 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 wait, 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 But what about this, though? I don't want to talk about that. No, and, you know, we only talking about, like, um, the, uh, the physical gifts. What about when you start trying to think? Oh, oh no. what, Hey, you oh, know how many vets, you, though? What, what I got. Hey, oh, what hey, I got. You know what I mean? I've been there. vets will tell you the wrong thing Ooh. and be like, my Ooh. bad. You know, oh, oh, oh they, hey, see, hey, see, my see, bad. You see, be like, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, well, hey, we had we had it that. We hey, that. they literally would yeah. tell you the wrong thing and be like, my bad. You got the out. My bad. I thought you had the, oh, no, I said you got the end. Yeah. Yeah. I said give him the out movement, then you got the end. Yeah, a lot of that. Y'all had that. haters. Yeah. You want to name them? No. Okay, okay. I was never that guy, though. Yeah, I never neither. did that. I hope oh, not. Man. Come here. That, that is not winning football. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.